Let's see what's on. Welcome to the final edition of A Case of Beer. This is going to be a video edition because I put together that little introduction uh, for what was supposed to be the Beer Olympics, but that got cancelled and I already did it, so I figured I might as well use uh, the introduction while I can. And so, here you go. I guess after three months of uh, weekly posts on beer games and uh, beer stories and such, I guess it goes without saying that I enjoy beer every now and again. However, even more than that, I enjoy the culture that goes along with it. So, uh, over the years, I've amassed a bit of a collection of some beer mem uh, memorabilia. Nothing valuable or anything, but stuff that I've seen and enjoyed, and i uh, decided to hang up or put in my room. So, today's edition of A Case of Beer, we'll take a look at some of the things I've collected. Enjoy. A couple of years ago, my hometown was having a street fair, and so while I was walking down the street, I came across this uh, this framed uh, piece that looked kind of interesting. It was a piece of red felt, and on on the felt were uh, various coasters, beer coasters. And I thought it looked cool, and uh, I didn't buy it though. However, I thought to myself, I could kind of make I can make something like that, but make it geared a little towards my personal tastes. So I went on eBay and I looked up some um, old coasters of my favorite beers, stuff like Gingling and and uh, Miller High Life and uh, you know beers I've I've been known to drink. And on top of that, every time I go to a bar, I almost always take a stack of the coasters they offer. So I've amassed quite a collection of beer coasters. But um, along the way, I've made some of these. Um, this was the first one I made, and it's my favorite, because it's um, the beers I drink most. Obviously, Blue Moon is not a new beer, uh, or excuse me, it is a new beer, so this is a pretty recent coaster, but um, uh, the rest of them are pretty old-fashioned. We've got this cool-looking old uh, Yingling one, we've got a Molson Canadian, uh, Miller High Life, Haps Blue Ribbon, and another old favorite of mine, Honey Brown. So these are all older, uh, or these are all older coasters of some of my favorite beers. I had a couple of extras, so I made the second one, which uh, another Miller High Life one. Uh, this is actually the back right here. That's the back of the Yingling one. Um, another Blue Moon one, but this one with the orange, uh, Rolling Rock and Amstel Light, and this is just a Lowenbrow. Um, I forgot where I got that, but um, it's just a really old looking coaster. It's kind of beat up, and I thought it looked cool. And it was one of the only ones I had left, so I put that one on there. I also made two more. Uh, old Crooked. Uh, this one right there, that's a, a Budweiser one. Uh, I'm not really a huge fan of Budweiser either, so that's kind of an interesting choice. Uh, we have Guinness, another Pabst, a Labatt's Blue. I am a fan of Labatt's. That was a Labatt's? Maybe it's Labatt's. And then uh, another Miller High Life. This one here uh, is just a bunch of funny and uh, slightly offensive gestures. I don't know why I decided to go through all the trouble of putting that one on the, the shadow box frame with the red felt and everything, but 
I did it, and it's hanging in my room. There you go. Ah, uh, this uh, beer pong Uncle Sam poster you've probably seen in the background of a lot of my videos. It's directly uh, opposite of where I keep my laptop, so whenever I do a video using the webcam, this thing is almost always in the background. Uh, it's just your Uncle Sam, I want you pose, but he's holding a beer, uh, or excuse me, a ping pong. He's got a good old pyramid in front of him. It says beer pong, sink it, drink it. I got it online, I believe, but the real story behind it is this frame. Uh, this company I used to work at went out of business, and uh, anything they couldn't sell, they were pretty much giving away. One of them was, I think this is an old golf poster, and uh, so I just used the frame and the backing to it, and um, I, if I recall correctly, cut my hand up pretty badly putting this glass frame back onto the, uh, the photo. It got kind of ugly. I think I cut my hand pretty pretty badly. So, it's worth it. I hope this doesn't fall, because my bed is right near there, and that hurt. Yes. I didn't look for studs or anything when I hanged any of this stuff, so it could fall at any time. It wouldn't be good. Uh, this Blue Moon uh, framed piece here is another homemade edition. Um, this was right when the uh, Blue Moon started doing their seasonal ales. I actually had to redo it because when they first started doing, I think, uh, who I can't quite remember which was the first season to come out, um, but whichever one it was, it was still under the Blue Moon label, and it just said, uh, you know, like, um, you know, uh, spring ale, summer ale, blah, blah blah, underneath it. But then the next month, they or the next season, they started doing these specialized names like honeymoon and full moon and harvest moon. So it stuck out like a sore thumb when I had all these specialty names and then one that still had the Blue Moon label. So I had to wait for the following year for the uh, the special name to come out and I had to reattach that. But this is each of the uh, Blue Moon ones with uh, the Blue Moon logo in the middle just on a blue background because for a long period I was in a very good Blue Moon phase. And uh, I was enjoying that a lot at uh, at bars, so it's kind of that recognition there. Uh, you know how every month when I put my dive bar t-shirt up on my site and I refer to the bulletins that they send me? Well, I keep all those bulletins in this red aluminum box. So every month this is what they send me. It's a bunch of photos of the uh, bar and a little description in the back. So I've got a, got a whole bunch of those. I guess about 24, right? Two years worth? So, Lord knows what I'll ever do with these, but I've saved them all. And they go in this. This right here. Uh, this right here is from my favorite bar at Rucker's, the Olive Branch. We used to go to this place all the time. This is our hangout. Their specialty night was Tuesday, which was dollar yinglings in these mugs. And then when I graduated, uh, I guess as a thank you for being a regular, uh, they gave me two of these, which I keep on my desk at all times. So I keep one out like this way for the yingling, and then the other out this way for the olive branch. So I really love these. Uh, very nice that they gave them to me. So Nice uh, commemoration of my college years. On the topic of college, this right here uh, holds a special place in my heart. Um, while at Rutgers, I was on Livingston campus my first two years. So this is a bottle of Livingston wine we got. Uh, and after we drank it, uh, me and all my friends, a lot of them faded, but all of our friends from our first year signed it. They have everybody's signature on this. Still have it. This is from 2001. Crazy. I know you recognize these things over here. These are, of course, the Beer Pong Championship belts, which I now have on display up on my bookshelf. Uh, now, these, these wood things beyond, behind them, uh, these were during, uh, again, while I was at that company that went out of business. 
Um, and uh, we were at this woman's house for an estate sale, and she had these uh, different, um, I guess, uh, type of alcohols. You know, these these are wood right here. Eh, kind of wood. I don't know what they are. Might be canvas. Um, and I I said that I thought they looked very nice, and she said, oh, just take them. Um, I had nowhere to put them. They've been up here for quite some time, and I have no idea what I'll ever do with them, but it was very nice of her, and I enjoy them, so that's where they are. Uh, this drinker's prayer thing came from some place, uh, came from that same business, actually. There you go, that's that. I have a few good reasons for drinking, and one has just entered my head. If a man can't drink when he's living, how the hell can he drink when he's dead? Wise words. Now these right here are just various steins and and pint glasses and such that I either picked up, uh, you know, won or bought or was given or, you know, there's just a lot of them here that I'll use one day, I'm sure. That I bought. You know, some of these. They just sit there. Uh, nothing all too special with these. This is what uh, visited a friend in San Diego a few years ago. And we went to Tijuana for the day. And I got uh, this. It comes with two. The second one, uh, just can't find at the moment. But uh, I've never used them. But I think they look cool. More to put on display. It says Mexico with these neat leather covers. It comes with two shot glasses. Very neat. I think they'd be nice to put up on display. I just have nowhere to put them in this small room. I've got to move someplace bigger, I think. And that'll be my motivation to move, is to someplace to put all this stuff. Good reason, right? Well, that pretty much sums everything up. It gives you a good rep uh, representation of what I've got here. Um, hopefully, after this feature, you all don't think I'm a raging alcoholic. But, uh... Thanks for uh, thanks for following along. I hope you've enjoyed it, and maybe I'll I'll give a few other game suggestions or stories uh, sprinkled throughout the rest of the year. But well, that's it for a case of beer. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. This is the end, beautiful friend. This is the end.